didn't stop your deletion. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions change. They always do. Are you sure? Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. With the recent events at E3 for 2021 passing once again, we take a look at what I thought were the best parts of what to look forward to from the weekend of gaming. Before moving forward, we must acknowledge that 2020 and 2021 has been a challenging year for everyone, including gaming. Being able to see the light after the pandemic, it is clear the effects on the gaming industry was real and more than what we may have expected. Full recovery may not be in sight for gaming until mid to late 2022 and even into 2023. With most trailers having release dates sometime in 2022, it's hard to get truly excited about what's to come until probably E3 of 2022. With Sony taking a Nintendo Direct approach, we didn't get to see as much as we probably wanted it to, but there were still some interesting titles along the way that made me excited. Let's take a look at my top 5 takeaways from one challenging weekend of gaming news. Guardians of the Galaxy grabbed my attention really quick with its potential on being crafted almost to the likes of Mass Effect. From Eidos Montreal, Square Enix may have come up with an apology that is of Marvel's Avengers. Although I really liked the campaign in Marvel's Avengers, it was too short and relied too heavily on online play that just wasn't ready and wasted such a great combat system. Guardians of the Galaxy looks to change that with a single player campaign that will probably be much longer with no online multiplayer attached so far. The banter and obvious takeaways from Mass Effect makes this one definitely one to check out. A Plague Tale Requiem is a sequel to one of the few games to truly take me by surprise a couple of years back with A Plague's Tale. The emotions, twists, and turns, absolutely stunning visuals, and especially character development between siblings truly took me for a ride in the action, puzzle, adventure game. The game's characters were so mesmerizing that it was hard not to care about each and every one of them, with the sequel looking to get darker and more mature as the siblings are growing up. The game looks to push that aspect with more action, especially from the sister's point of view, and something I definitely cannot wait to see in action. With Sony's recent release of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, I truly felt that this was the first time and the first game that really truly explored what true next gen game can look and they did a fantastic job. That said, I believe I have seen the second game with Forza Horizon 5. The game looks absolutely fantastic and as always, so impressed with the series that has brought with each iteration. Forza has never looked this good with stunning business and the attention to detail makes this racer super scary and how the game moves with such smoothness and looking so real. Probably my favorite looking racer so far and also brings with it the gameplay will put this on my must have list for coming in November of 2021. The one game that will make me want to buy a Nintendo system period has always been what Nintendo brings with their fantastic art direction with their lower end tech and still delivers and always amaze something artful and stunning. Nothing does that more with their iterations of Zelda but especially with Breath of the Wild 2. Just looking at the possibilities of what the game can be will amaze even the biggest fans of Sony, Microsoft and PC gamers wishing that Nintendo would go PC. Truly one of the best highlights shown on Nintendo Direct, making it almost at the top of my list. 
now, the absolute best news to come from E3 2021 has to be Microsoft's Game Pass. Truly the Netflix of gaming. The subscription service just keeps getting better and better with the games I probably would never play at my fingertips along with day one blockbusters to follow as well. With games hitting the $70 mark for a standard version of anything, Game Pass has become essential for gamers to enjoy all types of games without breaking the bank, with no signs of slowing down as well. That's it for this look at my top 5 news to come out of E3 2021. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and Greg, take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.